Um, I have heard this question or versions of this question a handful of times, so I thought I would just do a quick demo here in case it serves you guys. So in this email, uh, in this scenario, right, we've got four different emails, like a series of four emails that we want to go out. Um, and we want to know, like, did they open email one, right? So open uh, email one opened. And we probably want to tag them if they did um, so that we can report on like the different, you know, emails and how they impacted them once people purchase. So uh, email one tag, right? Something like that. And then we would duplicate this for uh, email two uh, and apply a, a different tag, right? If they, um, you know, opened email two. And the same thing would be true for um, emails three and four. Uh, but where this gets a little tricky, that's email three. Um, where this gets a little tricky is talking while I am trying to type the right numbers. No, um, where it gets tricky is that we want this sequence to continue um, if they open any of these emails. Like we, we still want them to get email three and email four um, if they open email two. We don't want this sequence to stop, but we do want it to stop if they you know do something else, if they buy the thing we're talking about. And so that's a little bit complicated because sequences have a setting. They can either stop immediately if one goal is achieved, if any goal is achieved, or they always run until completed. And so we don't really have the ability to say, let this one stop it, but don't let these stop it, right? So here is the uh, solution I'm gonna recommend. It just requires like structuring your campaigns, thinking about your campaigns slightly differently. Okay, let's see if I can delete some of these lines. I put them so close together I can't tell what I'm clicking on. And one more time, there it is. Okay, so uh, the change is instead of having email one, email two, email three, and email four in this sequence, uh, we're going to remove those, right? So you can leave the timers there, um, but we're gonna put those emails in their own sequences here. So this is uh, send email one, and of course, you know, email one would go in here. You don't need a timer uh, because uh, the timing is going to be controlled by that uh, top master sequence. And then this would be, you know, email two. So send email two. And then we would do the same thing for um, emails three and four down here. So send email three and send email four. And then what we do is in this main sequence, um, we just add them to the appropriate sequence at the appropriate time. So when they first enter this um, sequence, this is gonna be, you know, send email one, and we add them to, in this campaign, we add them to the sequence where email one lives. Um, and then the timer continues on, and the same thing is true. We add them to the sequence where email two lives um, after you know this amount of delay or however much time you need. So this would be send email two, and then we'll duplicate, pop this over here, um, send email three, and duplicate one more time, and send email four. Um, so each of these steps, it's uh, effectively adding them to a different sequence. And then what that lets, why this works is that the actions are broken out um, as they are tied to just that individual sequence. So as email one is sent, if they open it, um, we can you know raise that tag or apply that tag. As email three is sent, if they open it, we can get that tag. But if at any point, when they're in this process, they purchase, um, it will stop that uh, sequence, which will prevent them from getting whatever the next email would have been. So this allows us to um, you know, run certain actions and have these goals all behave the way that we want, have them all listen without stopping this master flow. I call that like a control sequence. Um, so the emails aren't actually being deployed in the sequence, but the contact is scooted off into or teleported over into the appropriate sequence um, based on the timing that you have set up between those steps. So that is probably the structure I would go with here. Um, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, um, you know, throw them below this video. I'm happy to, to toss some ideas around. Or if this solves a problem, a different problem that you were up against, I'd love to hear that as well. 
Um, or if anyone has a more elegant solution for this, a more, um, you know, a cleaner campaign structure or, or a suggestion for how this could be improved, I am all ears as well. That's it from me for now. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.